Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31 we find, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Now here is the promise of renewed strength. You know, we see here that man's weakness and God's great omnipotence and his tremendous power. Men, you know, try to renew their strength by their vacations. Some of them try to renew their strength by the vitamins that they take, while other men try to renew their strength by physical exercises, both mentally and physically. They try to renew that strength that they feel slowly ebbing away from them. Now, you know, as I look here in the Word of God, I find that my source of strength is in the Lord. Now, the Bible declares that we are to wait, stop, wait a moment on the Lord. You know, we're living in such a rush, rushing hour. Nobody has time to wait anymore. We hear the honk of the horn. You know, you can drive up to a red light. If you don't just hurry and move just about the time the turn thing uh, gets on amber, you're having a dozen people honk the horn. They want you to go. They want you to move out. We're not willing to stop and wait. So many of us are so busy making a living until we miss life. So many of us are not taking time even to see our family and to get acquainted with our families. So many dads do not know their sons. So many mothers are not acquainted with their daughters. So many children are so busy with their athletic program and with all of the other activities that they enjoy in school. I know they do not take time to really understand dad and mom. So many are rushing here and there on the Lord's Day. I know they pass up the church like a pay train, passing up a tramp. Now the Bible tells us right here that we need to stop and recognize God. God's existence. We need to stop and recognize God's personal superintendence of our life and God's absolute authority over us. We need to rec remember that uh, my soul wait thou uh, only upon God. Psalm 62 and verse 5. Martha and Mary had to wait four days before their brother, their dead brother, was raised from the dead. So many times we get impatient with God and we complain. Maybe some of you have been in a wheelchair for a long time. Maybe some of you have been afflicted with some infirmity for a long time, and you've been complaining and murmuring. Maybe some of you are afflicted with poverty, and you've been complaining to God and murmuring to God. Are you willing just to wait upon the Lord? And the Bible says that if we will wait upon the Lord, He will renew our strength like that of an eagle. Now, this is a great and a wonderful and a precious promise. And I hope that this morning on Coffee Break, this has been a blessing to your heart. Well, neighbor, it's been good to be with you on Coffee Break. On this same time tomorrow, may the Lord cause His face to shine upon you and upon all your family.